Good day everyone, I am Romel J. De La Serna. And I am Rainer Josh De Los Reyes. And today we will be analyzing a work by Gottfried Benn called From Late. Gottfried Benn was a German poet, essayist, and physician. He was born in a small town called Mansfield in a province of Saxony, Germany. His first poetry collection called Morg and other poems published in 1912 evoked public controversy due to its graphic depictions of violence and gore. After that, he became a key figure of German literary expressionism. Although less graphic, his later works are nevertheless sinister in tone. Ben's writing style is characterized by its intellectualism, its use of unconventional imagery and syntax, and its exploration of taboo subjects such as violence, sexuality, and disease. In the 1920s, Ben Gottfried became a leading figure in the Neue Sachlichkeit movement, otherwise known as the New Objectivity Movement, which rejected expressionism, emphasis on subjectivity in favor of a more realistic, objective style. Ben's literary reputation suffered after World War II due to his association with the Nazi regime, for which he wrote propaganda and held a high-ranking position in the medical administration. Despite this, his poetry continues to be studied and admired for its contributions to modernist literature. Feel it, but remember. Melania have felt it, the sea and the beast and the mindless stars wrestle it down today as ever. Think it, but remember, the most exalted are wallowing in their own bow wave, are no more than the yellow of the buttercup, while other colors too play their game. Remember and endure the hour, there was never one like it, all are like it. People and angels and cherubims, black winged, bright eyed, none was yours, was ever yours. Title of the poem from late suggests that the passing of time and the approaching of the end of something which reflects the theme of the poem. Theme. The theme of the poem is the transcendence of life and the futility of human endeavors in the face of internal and different nature. The poem portrays the insignificance of human existence in the grand scheme of things and the inevitability of death. Allusion. The poem alludes to the ancient concept of the struggle between man and nature, represented by the sea, bees, and stars. Metaphor, the image of the yellow of the buttercup is used as a metaphor of the fleeting nature of human life. Repetition, the repetition of remember emphasizes the importance of not forgetting the transcendence of life and the need to endure the present moment. Imagery, the poem uses vivid imagery to create a sense of the vastness and indifference of nature as well as the brevity of human life. The poem from late by Gottfried Benn is a powerful meditation on the transience of life and the inevitability of death. The poem itself emphasizes the importance of living in the present moment and remembering the fleeting nature of life. Through vivid imagery and powerful metaphors, the poem conveys a sense of the vastness and indifference of nature, which puts human existence into perspective. The poem suggests that despite the ultimate futility of human endeavors, it is still possible to find meaning and value in the present moment. Despite the often somber themes of his poetry, Ben's work is marked by a deep engagement with the world around him and a philosophical inquiry into the human experience. His poetry remains popular and widely read for its originality and insight towards death, suffering, and the futility of human experience.